So this is an example of a Venn diagram right here. So we go over this and then we answer these questions right here. So a group of students were asked as to what class they're taking. So the data is shown below. So there were three options. First, we have math, we have science and English. How many students are taking math? So when we say math, anything that is inside the math, um, math circle will be the answer for math. So let's see what would that be. So that's 12 plus 10 is 22 plus um, 13 because 7 plus 6 is 13. That would be what? 35? Next here, math but not science or English. So those that are taking math but who are not taking science or English. How many students are there? 12. Good. So only this um, number of students are taking math because we don't want those that are taking science and English. So this will be 12 right here. And then those that are taking science and English. So when we say science and English, so both of them are taking science and English at the same time. So this is science and this is English. So how many students are taking both? Eight and? Six. So both of these are taking science and English. So eight plus six is what? Fourteen. So that's fourteen. How many students are taking all three classes? Six. So there are six. Next, none of the three classes. They're not taking any math. They're not taking science. They're not taking English. How many students are there? Nine. The one that is outside, they're not taking anything. So they probably take like art or whatever. So that is nine. And then science and English, but not math. So how many students are taking science and English, but not math? Eight. It's because the six is like taking math at the same time. So it's only eight. And then the last one here, how many total students were surveyed? How do we get the total number here? Add everything out. Okay, so including the nine. So I'll give you a minute to figure that out. Add them all up. And that's uh, 80. So there are 80 students if we add everything out. Okay, so that's the way how we interpret Venn diagram.